Welcome to PhotoCamp. I'm Shelley Waldman, and this is where I share tips on business and photography so that you can turn your passion into a paycheck. Today, we're gonna to talk about five tips for making money with food photography. So tip number one is shoot for other bloggers. Yes, other bloggers are making recipes and may not be the best photographer out there, and they actually hire photographers to shoot for them on a regular basis so that they can have up-leveled photography. So if there's some bloggers out there that you follow and they make recipes, you can reach out to them and say, hey, I'll shoot your recipes. And usually you can then create a retainer-based relationship where you're shooting a few recipes for them each month. Tip number two, editorial, both in print and online, right? Imagine flipping through a magazine and there being no photos. It just wouldn't be that interesting. So when you're looking to shoot for a magazine, you wanna find out who the photo editor is and their photo editor might be for the print, as well as there might be somebody on the digital side. So when you're looking at the masthead, find those people, there might be two or three, and see if you can figure out how to get a hold of them so that you can tell them that you're in the area and that you can photograph that story. Better yet, if you have a story that you wanna tell and that you wanna photograph, you can even pitch your story idea to them. Tip number three, direct to client. It seems kind of obvious shooting for brands, but how do you find those local brands? Look to Google Local, look to Yahoo Local, and look at geotags on Instagram. Further, you can look at your Chamber of Commerce as well as restaurant associations to reach out to. Tip number four, shooting for restaurants, right? As food photographers, of course, we wanna shoot the beautiful dishes, but there's so much more that can be done there. You can shoot the owner, you can shoot the chef, you can shoot the sommelier and the kitchen staff as well. You can shoot interiors and exteriors. You can even offer video if you want. There's a whole gamut of things that you can offer restaurants. And if they're a seasonal restaurant, you can offer them to come back multiple times throughout the year to shoot the current season's bounty and the current dishes that they're offering, right? Especially if they offer specials throughout spring, summer, winter, fall, right? It gives you a whole bunch of different things to come back and photograph for them. Tip number five is a little bit different. Home furnishings. Imagine people being able to print your work on anything they wanted like a notebook, greeting cards, a mouse pad, an iPhone case, a large wall print, or even wallpaper. Yes, you can upload your images to a site like Society6 and let them do the fulfillment. You can pick what you want to sell and then you create the imagery for that certain specification and then Society6 will fulfill that for you and then you just take the profit. You don't have to worry about the printing and the fulfillment. So let's recap our five tips. Shoot for other bloggers. Shoot for editorial, both online and in print. Shoot direct to client and brands. Shoot for restaurants. And number five, home furnishings and fine art. I hope these tips will get you started. If you're looking for more tips on ways to make money in food photography, download the PDF in the link below. And better yet, take the quiz based on your personality to find out the best ways for you to make money in food photography. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you'll be back for next week's video.